Hey, it's Better Photo Jim here. And today I just wanted to share with you just how simple it can be to make images that pop off the page. And there are similar simple techniques for making your marketing pop, your promotion, so that you get people to come see your photos. And these are just a couple of the techniques and tips that I'm going to share in my forthcoming course. But in the meantime, let's just, you know, take a sneak peek at a few of these things so that you can get images like what we see here, these photos of the day. How awesome would it be to get a photo of the day to showcase your photographic work and get more people to see and enjoy your beautiful photography? So real quick, let's just take a look here. This is an image that I took recently of one of my three dogs. I love these dogs. And this one in particular, he is so attached to my wife and, and he's just such a little sweet cuddle bug. And we took him on a little trip recently. And I saw him at the top of the stairs as we were walking into this cabin. And I snapped this photo. And I, I love it. You know, there's the color in the background, the soft lighting, but there is some sort of darkness in the shadows. So I just took a, a little quick thing and it was so fast to be able to make it go from that photo to this, from the before and, and then just lightening up those shadows and adding a bit of vignette to the edges. So it's a simple, subtle technique, but it makes all the difference and it is so easy to do. So let's demonstrate with another photo. Here's a photo where I, I purposely slanted the horizon because I wanted to share with you that I see this so often in my own photos of landscapes and I see it in many other photos as well. The horizon is not perfectly level and sometimes you can do this intentionally to add some crazy dynamic drama, but it has to be very obvious. Most of the time it's just subtle like this and it doesn't look good. So you want to level that out. And then there are a few other things that we're going to do here very quickly. And I, I just wanted to use this as an example to show you how quick and as easy it can be. So fix the biggest problem first. So obviously the slanting horizon is the biggest problem. So I'm going to go into the crop and in this particular Google Photos, I'm just going to use this grid to level off that horizon and I can use the grid lines to make it perfect. So we're just getting it to the level state that we want it to be for that piece in equi equilibrium. Now you can use the AI filters, the auto enhance filters, but I like to go right to the settings and change things myself. And I want to show you a couple things not to do first so you can avoid going too far. One is in this particular program, they have a pop option. And if I just bring this up, even like halfway, it's starting to look a little fake. And then if I bring it up all the way, it's just not right. It's too, too treated. And I see this in some photographers work. So I want you to be aware of it. Watch out for this over processing. If I were to use a filter like this, I would just go until I see it and then come back a little bit just so it's so subtle and then we can we can you know look at it and decide if we want that effect now um, if you want to add a little vignette around the corners the same thing goes is if you start look I, i'm not even that far into it and it's too much if i go too much it's just too extreme it's too dramatic it's too obvious just like a great director of a movie doesn't want to be seen. He doesn't want you to be watching the movie and thinking, oh, this guy's a great director. When that happens, you're out of the movie. The best directors want to be hidden in the background. They want their effects to be subtle. So just like with the pop, come up with this vignette until you see it, until you notice it, and then back off a little bit. So those are two effects that we're having right away to make this image have a little bit more punch. The last that I want to talk to you about are you can play with an HDR effect. See if that adds a little bit of color and a little bit of pop and 
um, high dynamic range without it being too much again. And I do like that a little bit, so we're going to add that. Then you can change with things with exposure, and that is going too bright for me. That's going too dark, so I'm going to keep this where it is. It's pretty good. Um, I can play with contrast, but that's very tricky. Be careful with contrast. It can look unnatural very quickly. And then last, a lot of people love to do saturation. And again, a little bit goes a long way. If I saturate it, that is looking like the old Velvia film and even more. It's too unnatural. So if you want your photos to pop without them being crazily unnatural, then just take something like this up a little bit until you see it and then back off and, and have that subtle effect. Now, we can go ahead and save this copy. And we now have a much better image. The horizon is level. The colors are brought up just a little bit. And we have this image popping. Finally, you can make images that pop now with AI. This was made with a program called Midjourney. If you haven't explored this yet, I encourage you to give it a chance. We'll, we may take a peek at this too. It's a lot of fun to make images in all these different ways and have fun making your images pop. Uh, remember, keep an eye out. We have a course coming up that's going to be so much fun. It's going to be free online coming soon. So if you'd like to learn more about it, Click the link in the description below and let me know that, yes, I want to make images that pop. I want to have popping marketing and I want to do everything that I can to simplify this process. I want to get rid of the complication and make it super simple. All right, this is Jim at Better Photo. Whenever you're watching this, go out right now and make some images that you love or take a few of your favorites and see if you can make a few simple tweaks in the software that you use to make them pop. And if you have any problems at all, let me know and we can see what we can do to make your images just jump off the page in this upcoming online course. Jim at Better Photo, talk to you soon. Bye for now.